Good evening guys, I hope we are all doing very well and welcome back, welcome back to another video of legs. Right guys, I'm going to take you, you through my current setup, mine and Sarah's current setup to our off-season leg workout. As you guys know, I train legs once per week on a Monday, Um, I just, I don't have it in me to train legs twice per week, I, I just... I physically couldn't. I, I could not train legs any more than once a week. Once I train them, I am written off for the majority of the full week. That is why I don't pull off the floor up until the end of the week. So what I'll do is I'll go through sets and reps, etc, etc, etc throughout this session as well. So we have actually started beginning on the adductor machine. We are working with two working sets here. More so rep ranges of 6 to 10 and then anywhere between 15 and 25 reps for that second initial back off set. The reason behind starting on these is just because I feel more supported now throughout something like a barbell squat with obviously my recent small niggle that I'm going through and still going through almost a year later with my right knee. It's just a case of being as supported as possible now going into these bigger movements. Guys, I've been training 10 years and I was always one to jump straight in at 60 kilograms on a squat and never warm up and never do anything like that. But um, I kind of took the plunge a little bit too late in prep and I ran into a little bit of a knee niggle and it's just a case of now I don't want to make things worse. So we'll go to doctors first, then we start off with a line leg curl for the main part of the session. I say main part, it's not as if the doctors aren't a main part, but... You know how it is, guys. Um, line leg curl. This is the flex line leg curl. And same goes, guys, but we do three sets here. Um, one set of a higher um, weight, and then we do two back off sets. So essentially two sets of between 12 and 20 reps to finish. And again, as you'll see, we are taking forced reps here. We're not um, finishing where a perfect rep lies. We are going into a couple of per um, a couple of forced reps, I should say, anyway, by the end. Um, third movement in the session is your finds leg extension. Again, I've got a lot of energy, and I've been able to actually move back to the Cybex leg extension um, I was using the Prime because I was able to load it on pin 2 and it was actually taking pressure away from my knee but I've, I've actually got into a position now where I'm able to move back to my favourite Cybex leg extension which just feels incredible and it's pain free as well and I'm able to take them forced reps, I'm able to take them partial reps, uh, I'm able to take the forced negatives and everything is feeling so much better so obviously it is a big bonus. Um, and again on here guys, three working sets. So we're looking at anywhere from a couple of sets of two heavier sets of between 8 and 12 and then one back off set usually into a drop set and all sets are being finished on partials um, with obviously my 12 to 20 reps as well. So around one, um, two sets, sorry, of 8 to 12, and then one set of around 12 to 20 reps. Um, and then, of course, we obviously do move on to the main compounds from here. But like I've said, guys, I know that this is quite a lot of workload prior to moving into something like a big compound, which I was never, ever an advocate of and I was never a fan of. But right now, I do feel a lot more supported going into them bigger moves. And at the end of the day, guys, I don't have really any aspirations to be squatting six, seven plates anymore. It's just not really in my head so at the end of the day doing this work is still allowing me to go up to um five plates and hit comfortable double figure reps so I, i'm not even i'm not even that bothered with anything like this and being able to barbell squat pain free as well is just the big one so this was um me moving into my top end set which was actually only my second session back on barbell squats for quite a long time um where i done five plates for a magic eight reps as you'll see on the fourth rep i almost die um i'm unsure what happened i think i just lost my balance a little bit um and as you can see my right leg falls forward i was able to save it don't get me wrong um, but it did piss me off a little bit at the end of the day it was one of them things as you'll see there look my right leg fell forward um, i could have sacked the set off because at the end of the day the five plates immediately felt about six plates but i think that aggression the anger inside me from just that little bit of a wobble um, made me just keep going to be quite fair the aggression in me could have probably taken me up to 10 reps but at the end of the day i done five reps the week before for my first um, session back in barbell squats so taking the eight i was more than happy with um now the part that nobody gets to see sarah can't actually get her knee sleeves on so i always have to get them on and it's genuinely um one of the hardest things on the planet but she did take an incredible set here off four plates aside on the cybex pivot press um in which actually we have had another leg session following this one um and she literally doubled the reps on this set which was incredible and it's been a big one for her because we've been working in range of motion and confidence throughout a movement like this because at the end of the day it's not the easiest thing on the planet just to slap a lot of weight on and complete full maximum range of motion but on something like a pivot press the amount you can take from this guys from the full maximum range of motion is incredible um so i believe my working set here was 11 plates for 14 and the following session that we have actually had i went up to 11 and a half plates um i got around 12 or 13 
team, which will be across on my Instagram. But this was my main set. Um, this doesn't really give you the best insight into my range of motion here, but as you can see, uh, my knees are very much coming back as far as my chest. So again, this is allowing me to really maximise the most out of this. And in matter of fact, a couple of reps actually hit the stopper at the bottom. So that just goes to show that my range of motion is pretty much completely full and there. Um, but like I say, guys, on something like a pivot press, the, the reason behind something like this and, and the main thing behind a pivot is to allow you to really open yourself up to even more range of motion that you might not get on something like a 45 degree leg press. So if you have got access to something like this, do not be slamming on lots and lots and lots of weight just to move it because at the end of the day, you'll get nothing out of it. Use a weight that you will be able to comfortably take your range of motion to the absolute max. Um, and trust me, you will take so much more out of that because something like a pivot press, you can slam a lot of weight on, guys. I've seen people with five, 600 kilo on this and literally just perform quarter reps. And trust me, at the end of the day, that's not going to grow your legs whatsoever. Um, and especially as someone who... Uh, I don't like to say my legs are a lagging body part, but they, they've never been a huge dominant body part. Um, so I always know ensuring that maximum range of motion is most definitely there with a heavy load and for a lot of reps is most definitely the goal. After that, we moved on to the second hamstring curl of the session. This is the prime um, seated leg curl. Actually, going back to barbell squats, guys, I only done one working set. On pivot press, I only done one working set. And now on to seated leg curl, we move back to three working sets. So again, a set of around eight to 12 reps and then two sets of 12 to 15, even finishing on partials in which um, I'm not sure if I've included in this video, but whenever we move into the partial reps, um, so essentially just halfway up and straight down to the bottom in the shortened position, we come forward a little bit on the seat. So we push our bum a little bit forward to allow us to spend that time in the short. Um, after the leg curls, we move on to barbell RDLs. And again, we have been rotating barbell RDLs and and dumbbell RDLs just purely down to the fact of we both get on very well with both of them um, and, and sometimes it's nice just to switch these two movements up and at the end of the day we know that a barbell is a lot more taxing than dumbbells but at the end of the day we always full send the dumbbells regardless but sometimes it's just nice to switch them up we kind of go by a few sessions on one and then we'll do a few sessions on the other um, what you tend to find is when you're at the kind of top end range of these movements it is good to switch them up just purely down to the fact of I don't want to try and full send 220 to 240 kilograms every single week on a barbell especially if i'm going to do 300 plus kilograms rack pulls on a wednesday and then i'm going to be pulling from the floor which will be seven plus plates on the saturday so not that it's too much but sometimes it's nice just to swap across to dumbbells and what you actually find with dumbbells as well as well personally myself i find that i do get a little bit of an extra stretch just purely down to the fact of that freedom around the area where you're holding the dumbbells you can take that a little bit further um but this was actually my top end set here which the goal behind this was obviously to go through the motions of this um, I believe it was beltless and again the goal was to make sure that I could just slow it down completely and obviously maximize the most out of that small pause at the bottom um, throughout this set again this is the, probably one of the most controlled sets that I've ever done where around 200 kilograms um, don't get me wrong when I move up the way my, my reps do speed up a little bit but it's not something that you have to actually worry about. I'm not saying that you have to perform an RDL and you have to go three to four seconds on the eccentric part of the move. At the end of the day, guys, if you are connecting with the muscle that you are wanting to work, um, that does mean you are training with the purpose. And at the end of the day, we want to always make sure that um, we're not just at the end of the day as a bodybuilder moving weight from A to B. Um, don't get me wrong on things like deadlifts from the floor. It does look like you go full send and you just move it from A to B. But at the end of the day, something like that's not meant to look perfect. Um, whereas other movements that you are most definitely required to stay on the muscle should look almost perfect because you should be looking like you're always training with a purpose. But aside of that, guys, we move on to calves. We finish on calves. Barbell RDL was two working sets and now calves, we are finishing on three working sets and then I will include calves in another workout. But as always, guys, I hope you were able to take something from this. If you were, fantastic. Um, don't forget to drop the video a like for me. As always, subscribe to the channel if you are new because we're still on the road to 10,000 subscribers and I will see you all in the next video.